morning folks good morning oh god stream time's already going off because i was testing chat to make sure it actually properly worked today uh my emo wall was not working so y'all couldn't see the little uh stuff the little like emo thingies when they float about the screen anyway uh yeah good morning uh yeah this i'm I'm, I'm a little sleepy this morning, because of course, there's proper D&D, so, you know, I also got woke up early, <laughs> but I can talk about that in a little bit. How is everyone doing today? I saw we had some cool early squad. Um, yeah. So today we're going to be working on some art fight attacks. I haven't actually figured out 100% what I'm doing. I have a revenge that I want to get. And then I have a friendly fire that is way too ambitious that I want to start. Um, yeah, so I suppose let's hop right into it. Man, we're just getting all the True Lip soundtrack today. Pluto must be absolutely delighted. <laughs> I actually really liked the soundtrack, so I made sure to put it in. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, I got... 
I got a text to get. So, I still need to get a revenge on Sun Draws, because they also drew Daisy Sun. And I know which OC I wanted to draw, but I just didn't get a chance to start. <laughs> Um, well actually I sketched it, but I don't like how the sketch turned out, so. <laughs> so, we're just gonna start a fresh one. Um, we did a full body, so I wanna make sure I do a full body as well. I wanna do, I wanna do this lad, he's really cute. So, let's save the image. <laughs> oh god, I'm in the Draper folder. Uh, art fight. Um, I was gonna do that, that one lady, but she's got like big wings and I don't, I don't want to do that. That's really hard. <laughs> I am indeed happy because of the tulip. Yay! Yay! I hope that, uh, latency isn't too bad today. I've been trying to get like the quality good, but my internet is also angry at me today. So, yeah. I'm glad you are enjoying the tulip music. File new. I have no idea what I'm gonna do in this attack. This is what happens when you plan nothing. <laughs> but I want to do this big old cute plaid with a with a fancy tail and everything. So yeah, I'm actually slightly sad because my earbuds. I plugged them in this morning, and the one side of them is just completely dead no matter what I do, so I only get to listen to music in one ear today. <laughs> I also did something fancy. I know I've been uh, not doing pose mock-ups on um, it, like 3D pose mock-ups when I'm on stream, really, because I just didn't have a way to show it. but. I got sick and tired of transferring files, so guess who got themselves an Android emulator so they can run easy pose on their freaking com laptop computer. I was gonna say computer, but actually, speaking of computer news, I don't know if I mentioned it on the last stream, but my new PC should be arriving on Thursday! Yay! I'm not sure if I'm going to still stream on Friday, just so I have a chance to set it up. Um, because I might- it said by the end of the day, so if it arrives late in the day on Thursday, I might cancel Friday stream so that I have a chance to set up my, uh, new PC. Oh god, the, the, the like, weird default. <laughs> Easy Pose likes to pick up where you left off. And this is just a weird, like, distorted version of the one thing that I set up for Draper. <laughs> Alright, I have no idea what this character's uh, personality. Only half the music for today? Yeah, I know. I know. Holy crap, why is my latency so mad at me today? Why are we dropping 50% of my frames due to the network? Why is my internet so bad today? What the shit? What the shit? I have it set in low latency mode. I hope that's not too annoying. I should have I should have hopped in and tested the latency while I was going. I should do that too. Easy pose is so good. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Hardworking, overprotective, patient, generous, likes music, video games, making presents, bread. He likes bread. Oh, we're gonna draw this cute, this cute wolf boy with some bread. Add, add model, male standard. Uh, let's see what our presets are. Let's get something hella cute. Uh, we might hop into the female poses just so that I can start off with something. There we go, there we go. I need you to stop punching over. Stop rotating! I just want to pan. I have no way to pan. Oh! Oh, if I hold the control button, that's how I pan. 
Okay. Shoulder pose. Um. I think that's a pretty good shoulder pose. And then we'll hit symmetry. Then we'll hit symmetry. And get this up here. God, I wish this rig wasn't FK. Um forward kinematics. I wish I could drag the wrists around and just have elbow aims instead. But that's being that's me being a dorky animator. Draw the boy with some bread! Yeah! We're gonna we're gonna draw him with bread. I'm gonna set up our pose for bread. It's time for bread. Look, Daisy, I'm drawing a brick. You're so good! <laughs> yes! Oh! Oh! So you're good! Wait a minute. I can't read! Look, I mean, drawing bricks is... Oh god, I hate drawing bricks so much. <laughs> Let's just hit reset on the hand pose. Symmetry. Um... I feel like these are up too high. He's like, if I if I draw the pose from this angle, he's like being protective of the bread and like getting ready to throw it. <laughs> um, I want this to be down and here more, and then I don't. Do I have like a sphere that I can just put in his hand? No, I'm gonna put a coffee cup in just as a nice like little placeholder type of thing and then we'll just slide the coffee cup back oh god there it went there it is <laughs> i mean look yeah drawing bricks is actually important if you're doing like a whole scene so i cannot i cannot judge you <laughs> Oh my goodness, I see the brick that you're drawing. Can I can I show it? Can I show the brick on stream? <laughs> God dang it, I keep clicking off so I can get rid of the thingy. And then it keeps not Oh, it keeps disappearing. I'm not used to using easy pose on my um on my computer. Throws bread at you. <laughs> yeah. Okay, he's gonna eat this bread. I keep hitting symmetry tool. I didn't need to. I wanted hand pose. Ah. Ah. Let's. There we go. We'll make that hand pose match there. And then we'll slide this mug over. Rotate this hand. Rotate that hand. Slide the mug over some more. We'll get there. Uh, I need to rotate this bread. I say bread, but this is definitely actually a mug. <laughs> I think yes. Oh yeah, we get that. We get that sweet, sweet link right to the art fight attack. So this is the brick that Pluto is drawing. This is delightful. Brick is a floating brick with a green necktie. This is a side thing, but he likes chicken, so feel free to draw him with that if you want. This is fantastic! And the owner is Brick Likes Chicken. This is... This is an aesthetic. <laughs> this is an aesthetic of just being like, Brick Likes Chicken! And that's that! I should probably slide this up a little bit. Slide it back a little more. And slide this back a little more. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, give me the gosh dang. There we go. <laughs> he's gonna shyly hold a little bread. He just he's just being a little shy while he's holding the bread, you know. What's a what's bread but a mug with feelings? <laughs> indeed, indeed. Take that screenshot. Then we hit home. And we're like, uh, media manager. Uh, there we go. Sent to Windows. I don't even have to deal with like discording it to myself. 
<laughs> We're just gonna put this in a completely different uh, folder. Folder that's named for a completely different character that I was going to draw. But, you know, whatever. Alright. Right, close blue stacks. There we are. Now, open file location and go like this. We just gonna place that in there. That's much better. There we are. I've been wanting to get better at drawing anthros, so we're gonna try and give this a shot. I made this too big. I'm a fool. <laughs> See if I can not spend a million years on this attack, but I might. Because I'm on stream, so I don't know how to draw fast on stream. <laughs> anyway. Oh yeah, I mentioned I uh, got up. I ended up getting woken up early this morning. And that's because I had a nightmare. <laughs> Which is weird, because I don't normally dream. So it's like, I, I don't, I just... And I might, like, dream, but just not remember them. But I usually just don't remember my dreams at all. Um. So, yeah. But, shut up. Shut up, Toggle. Why do you want me to track my time? I'm not time tracking right now. I got- Oh god, I'm not the only one with a Discord that's just a file dump. Yeah. Yeah, I have a personal Discord that is, like, file dump, but, uh, reminder channel, social media planning, that sort of thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So, yeah, you're not alone. <laughs> it's a, just a very good organization system, to be honest. <laughs> I'm gonna give this boy some big eyes. I'm feeling like playing it a little silly with the expressions. So, we're gonna, we're gonna be slightly uh, surprised. Someone wanted to take this boy's bread, and he's not cool with it. There we go! Don't take this boy's bread! <laughs> anyway, uh, oh god, right, it's the nightmare that I had. Uh, which is weird, because this is the second night in a row that I've had a nightmare. Yesterday night was the nightmare about me becoming an Estrola's mod. <laughs> no, no, it was not. Um, I okay. So the first nightmare that I had, I'm gonna start with the first one that I had yesterday night. Um, I was sleeping over at Spy's place because I want to spend some time with him before he moves because he's moving at the end of the month. Um, because he's gonna go to school for coding, because we want to make video games, so that's cool as heck. Um, but I had a dream that I was, it was like the middle of the night, it, like this sort of dream where you're in a dream, but it's exactly where you are in real life. Uh, so it's really confusing and very unnerving. Um, but I had a dream that there was like, a burglar sneaking along the windows, <laughs> like, <laughs> along the bed next to us, which is really weird, because, one, there's no windowsill outside, we're on a second story, so that doesn't work. Two, there were, like, three windows in the dream, but there's only one window. <laughs> and it was just ridiculous. And I just, I just woke up. <laughs> And I was like, what the heck? I'm mildly spooked because it was just realistic. It was just a perfectly normal, like, thing to be stressed about. <laughs> and apparently, like, I I, tr I was trying to yell in the dream to, like, wake Spy up. But apparently I also yelled in real life. <laughs> and, uh, woke Spy up in real life. Because he was like, Daisy, what's wrong? Similar thing happened to you? Okay, I'm not the only person. It was you? Pluto. Well, I appreciate it because the burglar was wearing, like, a COVID mask while they were burgling instead of, like, a normal, like, burglar mask. 
I appreciate you properly socially distancing if you were going to Purgle Spy's apartment. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh god, this is gonna be a full body. What am I doing? This is gonna be a full body. I'm making the face so, like, detailed already. <laughs> but, yeah! So, there was yesterday's weird dream. Today's nightmare was actually more of a nightmare and I actually did have trouble falling back to sleep mostly because I couldn't be like, Spy, please give me a hug. I, I can't go back to sleep now. <laughs> um... So, my, I'd say my favorite movie is uh, Alien, because it's just so well made. Um, you see, I always wear my mask. Yay! Yay! Um, goodness. So my favorite movie is Alien, which it's a horror movie, it's a sci-fi horror. It's where the lovely, famous xenomorph comes from, if anyone doesn't know it. If you haven't seen it and you can handle horror movies, please, please go watch it. It's a masterpiece. They're so good at not showing the monster until the very end. And also, Ripley is such a badass. <laughs> anyway, and also there's only two alien movies. There's The other ones don't exist. Anyway, I was at someone's house. I don't know whose. I guess I was there to visit for a thing. Um, but there was a xenomorph there, and it was trying to hunt me down, and I eventually came to the conclusion that the safest thing for me to do was to hunker down in the SUV that was parked in the back lawn. <laughs> Thick cheek alien. <laughs> oh my god, is this... Is the xenomorph thick? Now I need to know. Anyway, yeah, uh, part of my dream was hunkering down in an SUV and, like, pulling the little blinds down and, uh, like, locking all the doors. Is the xenomorph thick? I guess the xenomorph is kind of thick. Not very. It, it is horrifying. It's very horrifying. No, that doesn't exist. That doesn't exist. There's only first movie Xenomorph. <laughs> Pretty sure one of my friends saw the alien costume IRL. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that's so, so cool. I love all of the practical. I love that the entire first movie is all practical effects. And God, I could go on such a tangent about Alien. It's also like the closest thing uh, we'll see to what Hodorowski's Dune would have looked like, because they basically, when Hodorowski's Dune didn't happen, they basically took his entire team of artists like Chris Foss and H.R. Zizer and put them on the alien team. <laughs> so yeah, I just love- I also, aside from practical effects and just being a technically great and entertaining movie, it's the closest thing we'll get to knowing what Zizer's uh, Dune will look like, or would have looked like. Since obviously we're getting Dune later this fall, but you know. Anyway, oh my god, this nightmare. Ah, so I, 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 I was hunkered down in an SUV with like the safety locks on, and eventually like this group came, this like security team or whatever came to like bail me out and they restrain the alien, but you know. I love the Alien movies. The Alien movies definitely existed in-world in this dream. So I had a bit of a uh, Ridley situation going on, or Ripley situation going on, where I was like, no, I know how dangerous this thing is. I've seen the movies it's from. <laughs> so I was like, I'm leaving, we're leaving right now. This is dangerous and terrible. And yeah, the second the, second the thing was starting to like break loose from the security team, team, I was like, I'm leaving. And then I couldn't get back to sleep. I don't know about Keiko and the others, but I don't mind Alien Talk. Yay! Yay! It's just such a good movie. Uh, and then... Yeah, so that's basically the end of the dream. 
I woke up at like 5 a.m. and I knew that that's about the time when like Spy was just getting up for work so <laughs> and I couldn't fall back asleep so I messaged him on Discord like, help, help, I had a nightmare and a xenomorph was trying to kill me and I, <laughs> I had to hunker down in an SUV and it was scary. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I eventually woke up and I was like, okay, okay, we'll get back to sleep. I've got like another hour and a half until I'm gonna get up properly. You know what I did? Aside from like talking to Spy, uh, get back to sleep. I looked over the art that I did last night from Bleak Dawn, which involved like some, some funny drawings of Keen. I thought about Draper and Keen going on a date because it'd be, it'd be cute and fun. And then I went back to sleep. <laughs> so, yeah. There's my weird dreams. I don't... I really don't normally have nightmares, so... It was strange, to say the least, to have a proper nightmare. <laughs> Also, my dream- my, my- my brain never gives me, like, cool fandom dreams or whatever. My brain is just like, oh yeah, you're just gonna have a nightmare about a thing that you like. And I'm like, why? If you're gonna give me an alien dream, at least let me get to, like, have a flamethrower. Or- or use the, uh, power robot and, like, fight the alien queen like Ripley did in the second movie. That'd be so fun. But Daisy's brain, Daisy's brain is mean to Daisy, and it's like, no, you can't have that. <laughs> Look at this anthro character that I don't have to stress about how to draw the anthro legs. There we go. Oh yeah! Also, we had a session of Bleak Dawn again for the first time in two weeks. Technically three weeks, because we played two weeks of one-offs. It was so good. Oh, I needed that serotonin in my soul. And it was also like a more relaxed session, so it was a bunch of RP. You just have school dreams? Oh no! Oh no. I don't usually have like school dreams. I'm either- it's either a weird nightmare where I'm like running from something. Uh, not even running from something, but yeah, I, guess, I mean, I guess if it's a nightmare, that's what you're doing. <laughs> or it's, um, which we'll call it. Or it's just me doing a completely mundane task. <laughs> I'm just like, why? Why can't I have anything fun or creative? <laughs> uh, what? How do I want to do this detail? Uh, we're gonna do. I'm gonna make his tail stand up on end. Because he's like, oh god, oh god, they see that I have the bread. <laughs> there we go. Alright, that's nice and fast. That went so much quicker. <laughs> let's reduce the opacity and let's get a line art layer going. I feel like doing real heckin' line art today. So. Yeah, we're gonna get a vector line going and do some real line art. <laughs> Normally, I'm just like, no, no line art. It hurts my brain. Oh! But, goodness! Let me stretch a little bit. Anyway, yeah, there's my weird dreams. Um, I had to make sure I post the notes for the D&D session last night. Uh, today, because I haven't had to do that for two weeks. <laughs> I'll also turn the stabilization up, because mm, my brain don't know how to. It's like, what? What? We're doing... We're doing line art? I don't know how to keep your hand steady. <laughs> but yeah, there was a whole bunch of RP last session. Also, it's really funny because, um, as, as you may know, my Bleak Dawn OTP, 
is my character Draper and uh, Keen. There was a little bit of character lore for Draper's backstory dropped last night, so that's cool. The party, uh, the char the players in character don't really know, but uh, out of character, the players have a little bit of idea because Keen brought it up to Draper in a conversation. So that's fun. Draper did might have accidentally killed somebody. I'm <laughs> just saying. <laughs> But, um, yes, my OTP, Draper and Keen. Unfortunately, both of them are the type that will never admit it. They're, they're just idiots that are like, no, no, what are romantic feelings? And that's just, like, Draper, it's also partially a little bit of, like, self-confidence problems of, oh, I have irreparably wronged Keen. I can't possibly. I'm not allowed to think this dragon man is hot. <laughs> <laughs> and Keen just doesn't really comprehend relationships. So good times. But the rest of the party has seen my dumb ship art. So they, um, what you call it? They were like, we're pushing this ship out of port this session. <laughs> they were being, they just decided they were being my wingman. Um, let me go get my doodles from from here <laughs> hit original and then we'll hit open original alrighty so first thing the party did after our very uh, arduous journey was uh, like go get food and drink and Draper is uh, drinking an unhealthy amount and Callahan just likes to party <laughs> And Callahan's player, like they were walking off because we're in a city, so they everyone had their obvious weapons const. Uh, I almost said had their weapons constipated. They had their weapons confiscated. <laughs> um, so Callahan and Keen were going off to go like get their weapons registered so they could uh, bring them with them. So they had some little brother bonding time, and Callahan was like, oh, I see the way you look at Draper, brother, all drunk. And Callahan was, or Keen was just like, what the shit? You're, you're drunk, shut up. <laughs> so, that's a delightful time. Um, there was also, when we were in that uh, dungeon <laughs> uh, that we were exploring, which turned out to be like Humble Company's lair, uh, some of the party saw that, uh, Keen's griffin, Calvane, got kidnapped, and Keen is like, no, this is just my mount. They're not, they're not important to me. Not at all. Um, yeah. No. No. <laughs> Keen straight up did a spit take when, when, uh, still told him that Alita Crow kidnapped Calvane. So... There's a good time at the session. Also, I just think the size difference excuse me, is really funny. So, yeah. <laughs> so, there's that. There's some fun session shenanigans. I'm not gonna totally spoil all of them. We'll just make this, like, most of the thing. Actually, if I draw this on a separate layer, then I can copy-paste it! Attack 1 finished? Heck yeah! Heck yeah! Did you get that sweet, sweet brick done? I need to give points out to people in the, uh, Void Lounge as well. <laughs> Not the Void Lounge. Oh my goodness, that's the general chat! I need to give points out to people in the square. <laughs> I haven't gotten around to it because I've been away all weekend. That's why I started putting little white check marks on everybody's. I'm like, okay, okay, we got this. <laughs> Copy this. It's in the server. Heck yeah, heck yeah. Take a peek. Oh my god, yes. Oh my god, yes, Pluto. Yes. 
this is this is an amazing drawing of Brick. <laughs> oh, I love this. This is absolutely fantastic. I love it. Brick. <laughs> Wait, I didn't need to flip that vertically. Wait, I did just flip that horizontally. I'm dummy. I'm dummy. That was exactly where I needed it to be. Oh no. Alright, let's get this. Let's just casually put this right over where I need it. No, don't rotate. Don't rotate. I don't want you to rotate. This looks... This looks weird. Okay, that's not too weird. Hopefully that's good enough. Alright, let's go... like that. And then we'll go... like that. Yep. Perfectly. As planned. Merge those down. Four more attacks and you're at 50? Awesome! Awesome, awesome, awesome. I can't remember how many attacks I've done for Art of Fight. <laughs> oh god, I'm doing so much friendly fire this year. I know, I try not to do friendly fire, but yeah. Holy crap, 50? I was aiming for 20, but I kept going overboard? No, that's totally fair. I mean, I only just hit Oh my god, I have 81 attacks, but granted that's over, like, this is my fourth year doing Art Fight, so that's why I have 81 attacks, because <laughs> I started doing Art Fight back in high school when I had literally nothing better to do, so. <laughs> so like this. Oh, I have it set to transparent. So you think you're at, like, five or six attacks? That's totally fine. Yeah, you got 81? I don't... How did I manage to get 81 attacks? <laughs> That's your third year? Awesome. Yeah, I think... I think at the rate that, like, we draw, like, doing 25 or so a year? Let's get this rotate going. And get this going. Yeah, there we go. Now we're gonna merge these little triangles together. Perfecto. Oh yeah, how are you doing, Keiko? Holy shit! Yeah, I've been doing Art Fight for a while. <laughs> I was so sad last year when I think I only did like 12 or 13 attacks. Like, I know it was 2020, but... But... I was like, no, I want... I want to do more art fight. To be fair, I was doing a lot of animated attacks. <laughs> Get a new raster layer going. And I'm just gonna... I'm gonna copy paste the eyeball. In 2019, I only did two attacks? Oh no! Oh no. Everybody has their years, though, where they're like, I can't. I can't this year. This year, I'm just like, no, I have to do it. I must. I am required. <laughs> All right, let's get this. Copy, edit, transform, flip horizontally. I have no patience today for drawing, uh, like, symmetrical things. <laughs> I'm gonna have to actually... Okay, I am gonna actually have to draw the, the triangle bit. But, you know what? At least that part turned out pretty nice right there. I don't remember... One of them is highly cursed. Fantastic. I don't remember when I started. I'm good, just lazy. Aw, that's, a, that's okay. We need lazy days. Hey, you might as well just chill out this week. Keiko, it says you joined in 2017. Nice, nice. <laughs> Wait, when did I join Art Fight? I joined in 
2018. God, that feels like ages ago. I can't believe I started... I started college in 2018. What? No, I'm old. <laughs> I'm almost done with college now. Oh my goodness. What the heck? Let's just grab the let's just grab the ellipse tool. Oh, that's not what I thought the ellipse tool worked like. <laughs> there we go. Oh, this is actually. Oh, I should do this more often. I don't. I, don't, I want to. Can't draw them. Okay, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> no, don't stop speeding. Just copy the ellipse, you coward! I'm gonna adjust the line weight later because Clip Studio's baller like that. I know I didn't do like two years. That's fair. That's totally fair. <laughs> All right, let's get these drawn in. Here we are! There's some eyeballs! I'm definitely being a bit of a perfectionist with this line art, and I probably shouldn't be, because it's art fight. But that's just how art fight goes. <laughs> I joined art fight when I was in elementary school, heckin' baby! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, I was still drawing Naruto fan art in elementary school. Wow. Wow, goodness. <laughs> oh. Look at this lad. I'm so surprised. Alright, and then we're gonna draw one eyebrow and then do the symmetrical thing again where we just take it and copy paste it. Edit. Form, flip horizontally. This is the lovely thing about doing a uh, freaking raster vector line art. It's so good. <laughs> Daisy, show us the Naruto fan art. I don't think I actually have any anymore. I might, I might have some photos because uh, since my mom and her partner were moving. They uh, wanted me to like clean out some of my stuff, which I did earlier this year. So I might have photographs of some of my old sketchbooks because I decided I would just photograph my old sketchbooks instead of keeping physical copies of them because I had a stack that was like five feet tall. <laughs> and some of them were very, very big sketchbooks because I used to draw on like 12 by 18s. Um. Yeah. So. So yeah. I might have photos of some of it. I'm always too precious with line art. Gotta, gotta just smash it onto the page tonight and hopefully get something done. Well, yeah. Yeah. It's always tough not to be super precious with line art. That is, again, the lovely thing about doing it as vector in Clip Studio is I can go in and just adjust it later. So I'm just like, as long as I get the lines in the generally correct place, everything is fine. <laughs> I think also that thing of zooming out, like I know I'm probably zoomed in way too much, but whatever. I don't care right now. <laughs> I think zooming out and also setting yourself a timer. I, um... Vector art is very confusing. Yeah, it is. The only reason I'm even doing it, like, here in Clip Studio is because they made it not confusing. <laughs> um, goodness. I, I actually learned with, like, school last semester when we had to do um, storytelling drawings. We had, like, four illustrations to do in a week. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I just learned 
I learned that I can paint like a rough illustration in like an hour if it's just grayscale and very messy, which is crazy. Pico design. Man, I always want to do sketchy attacks, but then they just turned into lined and shaded attacks. Yes, same Pluto. I know. I actually, a lot of my attacks this year, I've just been skipping the line art step. Wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five. What the shit is going on here? I drew six fingers. <laughs> what? <laughs> I sketched it in six fingers. What the hell? Okay then. Okay, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna ignore that last finger that I drew. Just go like that. Be like, yup! That's what I meant to do. 100%. Perfectly planned. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. How did I manage to draw six fingers? You know, I thought something was off when I drew those fingers, but I didn't say anything. I didn't think about it much. But no. No. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I know, I'm like, what? How did I draw six fingers? How did it happen? <laughs> Alright, let's just go like this. Just, just put these fingers in and not care. There we are. Like, my sketches are so messy, I can't have other people seeing that. That's valid. I've gotten a lot more comfortable with doing uh, just sketches because of like visual development and being an animator and oh god I need to plug in my stylus because it's low. Oh no. Oh, I don't really need my computer mouse during the stream. <laughs> I have I have maxed out my USB ports. <laughs> um, I, I need to grab my charger for my stylus. I will be back in like two seconds. <laughs> Oh, that's not there. Oh no! Where is it? I just had it at the start of stream. So I needed to plug in my stylus to get it to like sync with the tablet. Where'd it go? Oh no! If my stylus dies midstream, I'm gonna be so sad. Well, I can put it down so I don't lose it first. Foremost. Oh, oh, it's right here on my desk. I'm, I'm a dummy. <laughs> oh, I'm a big dummy. I'm a fool. There we go. There we go. Oh, while I'm thinking of it. Oh, I just unplugged my computer mouse. I wanted to ask y'all, um, since I have access to channel points now and there's community challenges, do y'all want a community challenge? Oh, wait. Wait, I could just run a poll. Let's run a poll, y'all. That'd be fun. <laughs> Manage poll. Manage pull! Manage pull! Let's go! Hang in there! We're loading your activity! God dang it! Go faster, you cowards! My sketches are usually very clean, because otherwise I can't understand my own sketch. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what? Keyboard. What? Community challenge should we start? There we go! Crowd. Control. Symphony of the Night. Okay, we're just gonna type SOTN instead, or Daisy San Polnareff hair. <laughs> Alright, and we're just gonna make the poll run for five minutes. There we go. Okay, we got a poll running. So, uh, Twitch has this thing called uh, Channel Points, which you earn by chatting and such. 
and yeah. But there's also community challenges, which run, uh, basically everyone pulls their points together to get, like, one big thing instead of, like, just redeeming one hydrate or one, like, you know, draw cat ears on it. Um, so I had two that I was thinking about starting, and I was gonna leave it up to y'all as to which one we should run. <laughs> Go faster, cowards. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, Crowd Control Symphony of the Night. Uh, Crowd Control is an extension for Twitch that basically lets you guys control the game that I'm playing, and Symphony of the Night is just a Metroidvania that I really like. It's one of the Castlevania games. Um, so there's that. Or, I will make Polnareff hair for Daisy san <laughs> So... Yeah. And I'll give it, like, wiggle physics and stuff. <laughs> so, I wanted to leave it up to you all as to what we'd be going for. Adding cowards at the end of a sentence instantly makes it seem badass? Yeah, it does. You- it- it absolutely does. <laughs> there we go. Um, in case you haven't voted yet, oh my goodness, everyone's vote. <laughs> I think, the oh my goodness, the votes are rolling in. Oh my god, we're going. <laughs> I'm gonna hit view results so that, uh, I can maybe have the tab open. Um, I can't vote. Oh my goodness, I didn't, I didn't think we we're gonna have that many freaking votes. I'm always confused when there's lots of votes on anything. Because I'm used to having to wrangle people uh, for school to get them to respond to things. <laughs> but yeah, uh, if people did want, keep in mind that this is just which one we'll do first, because I would very much like to do crowd control games. Um, mute, mute that stream. Hide that preview. I don't. I don't want to see the I don't, hide the player. Manage poll. Let me see that. Let me hit the view results so I can get that tab going. <laughs> we are like just under halfway through, or just over halfway through our poll time. Heck yeah! Give people time to go through. <laughs> So, when that ends, I will share the results of the poll. <laughs> and it should be, the poll should be wrapped up just before intermission, where I'll do a short ad break and go stretch and get water, which is a good chance for you all to go stretch and get water if you haven't. We'll be doing that in like five to ten minutes. <laughs> I'll make sure I also do hand stretches. <laughs> nope, that's just me. My Wi-Fi kind of died. Oh goodness, yeah, no. My Wi-Fi is very mad at to me, mad at me today, and I don't know why. It's just so mean. <laughs> do, do, do. There we are. All right. I just realized that the reason there's so many votes here, apparently, <laughs> Pluto, I'm, <laughs> I'm talking about this on stream. <laughs> apparently, you can vote like eight, like a, a bajillion different times if you're a mod. <laughs> okay, okay, good to know that you can just vote a million times as a mod. <laughs> I didn't know that's how that worked. I knew you could vote multiple times if you used, uh, bits, uh, and I think sub votes also count for times too, but, but still. The poll has ended! <laughs> the poll has ended! Oh my goodness! Okay, 
So, there we are. Stray Frog of the Creek contributed 1,400 channel points. Oh my goodness. Oh, you can use channel points to win the vote, too. <laughs> Same on my end, so we got some lag going. Oh no! Oh no! Well. Oh my goodness, Pluto, <laughs> you just, like, okay. Oh my goodness. There's, there's our poll results. Oh no, you can see the browser source if you wanted to host my poll in your stream. Pluto, <laughs> why so many votes? <laughs> you contributed so many channel points to win. I didn't, <laughs> okay. Okay, so let's go over to the channel points menu. Manage channels and rewards. So, we are going to. I only have a hundred points. It's because you're a freaking mod. That's abuse of mod powers. So, let us start the community challenge. There we go. Hopefully, it pops up in Twitch. So, y'all have 31 days to raise 10,000 channel points. <laughs> Um, <laughs> so you add channel points to it, and we meet it in 31 days, I will make Polner up here for Daisy-san, which we'll probably do on stream. It'll either be a Monday stream or a uh, wild card on a Friday, since I don't want to cut into my God Slayer time. I thought about working on God Slayer on stream today, just because it's getting near the end of the month and I need to finish up Ace for, uh, Patreon. So I was like, I could, I could get lots of work done today. But then I was like, hmm, mm. or I could just do art fight attacks instead. <laughs> and I was like, it's art fight time, baby. Oh my goodness, this is so this line is so long. How did I pull this off the first time? <laughs> Freaking sketch lines. Yes! You only have a hundred points. Well, you guys will be able to earn them by chatting and stuff. We're going on raids, so I should definitely make sure we uh raid people more often. So folks have a chance. <laughs> so yeah. Basically just showing up and chatting is the best way to actually get channel points. <laughs> I also want to move my Streamlabs redeems over to channel points just because they're easier to keep track of. <laughs> I don't, Pluto, how did you manage to contribute 1400 channel points to the freaking poll? Oh my goodness. That's insane! <laughs> there we are. Damn, those pant folds in the knee. I kind of just... So the secret to pant folds I learned when I did a study of, funny enough, Rohan from JoJo. Um, I just, I just kind of do squiggles along the outside and then I try to connect things up. Um... Yeah. Yeah, that's how I do pant folds. <laughs> um, that is all the insight I have to offer regarding them. I just kind of go do it. I feel it out. I think having a couple different types of uh, clothing folds also kind of stored in your memory and knowing where they happen is a pretty good way to figure them out. Um, so I'm like, okay, well this is all bunching right here, so it'll go there and that bunches. So, yeah. Uh, let's put... Oh, that's... That's not a vector layer. Oh, no. I'm not gonna be able to edit the line weight on those. Clickety click click. Are we, are we hearing my clicks or something? Oh no. I hope we're not hearing my clicks. Oh no! <laughs> Valid AF. I can't. Well. Oh well. There 
goes. There, there goes my uh, gosh darned <laughs> vector layers. Mine always look too sharp. Yeah, yeah. I think maybe, maybe throw a little stabilization on, and uh, see if that helps. I'd say. <laughs> C, control V, grab this, and we're just gonna rotate it around. There we are, merge those, merge that. Uh, don't merge it onto that other layer because it's not a vector layer, because I'm a dummy idiot that forgot to hit the vector layer button. Don't do that, y'all. <laughs> There we are. Yeah, my chat's lagging because my internet's a little mean today. Um, which we call it. I wanted to make the quality nicer so y'all would actually be able to like read things on the screen. Because <laughs> I was looking back at the vods and I was like, God, you can't even read chat. Why do I have it taking up like a third of my friggin' screen space? So, yeah, I was like, well, and when I was testing it was only like a five second delay, but I guess it's kind of bad and annoying uh, when my internet decides to misbehave. <laughs> By the way, bonus, I guess bonus points if you find uh, Daisy's Burner Twitch account for the sake of testing uh, stream latency? You don't get anything. You just get the satisfaction of knowing that you found my testing account. <laughs> um, yeah. It's also like 9.58, so I'll probably run my intermission, and then from there we will... Uh, do the flat colors, and then I think we should be able to get the shading done pretty quick on this. I should look at the art fight attack that I got and be like, was it flat color? Was it shaded? I don't know. Let me go look at my defenses. Uh, minimal shading. So I might, I might just do minimal shading on this, just to keep it nice and easy peasy we got our liner oh my goodness some of these are just way too thin oh god and this is the layer that i screwed up and made non-vector no let's expand it by one pixel all the way around um and then we're just going to pray that i can just fill the lines in that are too thin. <laughs> that should hopefully do it. Quality is pretty good? Yeah, yeah. I'm glad that the quality is pretty good. I know... I know things are a little laggier, so I was like, well, that, that delay shouldn't be too bad in exchange for actually better quality. And I was trying to, like, just fine-tune and figure out where the delay got too much. <laughs> Uh, for the quality that I was getting. And I feel like it that. Pretty sure it was flat. Yeah, I took a peek and it was minimal shading, so. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do in return. Because I want to start a really, really ambitious attack that I know it's friendly fire, but that's just how it do be. Because I really want to draw Sigdom's characters. <laughs> uh, yeah, and we'll do we'll do the patterning in uh, black color. Cool. Uh, view. Uh, fit to navigator. There we go. We'll make a flat color layer. Call it flash, not glat, because I don't know how to type. So that is the reference layer. And I think we will. Wait, I didn't et the, edit the line weight on the vector layers yet. I don't feel like doing it. We're just gonna we're just gonna leave the line art as it is. Anyway, I'm going to run a real quick intermission, everybody. So if you haven't taken the time to get a drink, I have not been hydrating 
Oops. <laughs> Reminder that you can also yell at me to hydrate uh, with channel points or uh, Streamlabs. I will do that now. But go get meds, go get a drink, go stretch, and I'm going to run a really quick ad break and we'll be right back. Why howdy? Why howdy? <laughs> I think I think I saw that we had uh, some shenanigans going on in chat. So let me let me read back through. <laughs> Keiko design. Yeah, wait, man, I gotta draw Keiko. Sounds sus, Pluto. I shall draw draw you and and your Shrek hair. Oh no, Shreko. <laughs> Keiko, no! Daisy, Pluto is bullying Grandma! <laughs> this is why you're not the favorite grandbaby. Your favorite grandchild cannot help you now. They will win back. Mark my words. Daisy, protect Grandma. Shake my sh <laughs> shaking my head. Am I really using my worm on a string as a reference for this attack? Yes. Yes, I am. Oh my goodness! Oh, Pluto! Pluto, are you bullying Keiko? <laughs> I know you're mod. I know you're mod, but I can revoke that sword. <laughs> I can revoke that sword from you, Pluto. How dare you? Goodness. Look, I'm not responsible for your activities outside of stream. But, but, if we're, at least, uh, at least, I don't know, wait till Keiko's 24 hour stream to haunt Keiko with Shrek. This is why this is why I made my stuff uh <laughs> Nias and draw like cat ears on things instead. <laughs> Shakes cane. Oh fantastic. Fantastic. Wait, does oh I can't see it. Y'all can't see it on my uh chat widget, but holy crap! Uh Twitch is supporting Markdown all of a sudden with the italics. That's cool. That's cool. Thank you. 
Don't give him ideas? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Why? I just want the stream to- don't, don't give them ideas. I'm sorry. I just read out chat. Oh, goodness. Ah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Goodness. Anyway, I will give Pluto ideas. Now I have to give Pluto ideas. <laughs> ah! <laughs> That's slash me, Daisy. Oh! Slash me makes the attacks. I shall bully Keiko then. Bully Keiko during Keiko's stream. <laughs> Don't bully Keiko in my stream, because then I'm responsible for moderating it. <laughs> Goodness. Goodness gravy, you chaotic children. <laughs> Alright, let's get flat colors going on this boy. Alright, this lad has pure white skin. I'm changing that, because we're not- I'm not shading it. <laughs> I, I don't- I can't shade that. <laughs> uh, Iri scaling 8. Tolerance is up pretty high. I'd say our liner is pretty clean, so I can probably at least leave clothes gap pretty low. <laughs> Alright, good. There's that. Um, the belt might- is the belt the same color? The belt is the same uh, color. No! Cries! Yes, yes, give Pluto ideas! Oh, white skin is cry! I know, I'm just like, I don't- Why do you make it- Why? I can't- I can't put highlights on this! <laughs> so I'm just like, I'm just going to- I'm just gonna change it ever so slightly. <laughs> Let's run and close and fill so that I don't I don't have to fill these gaps manually. There we go. Bless you, Clip Studio. Bless you. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. I should probably turn close gap up on or back on because I need to fill that ear. Alright, and this is colored solid black. No it's not. We're sliding that up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. For other layers. There we go. That's it gets the same effect across, but I can still shade it, which is much nicer. <laughs> Close and fill. Gosh, this goes so much faster. I'm gonna my stream is probably gonna drop frames in encoding by booting up Photoshop, but I'm gonna use Photoshop to do finishing touches, because it'll go way faster. Uh, let's refer to other layers. Sweet, that actually colored that pretty fast. I didn't... Wow, that was actually pretty good. That went so quick. <laughs> Might turn my area scaling up just a little bit more, even though my liner is pretty thin in some places. <laughs> Go to other layers. There we are. Flat colors. We do be zooming through the flat colors, though, which is pretty nice. <laughs> this goes here. Wait, that's the wrong- that's the wrong color. There we go! <laughs> Alright, sweet, there's that. Alright, they really do be coloring this flat white. Let's go over to a very slight purple. That's too much. Too much purple. There we go. That's pretty gosh dang close. But still good. Oh, we gotta turn our area scaling down. It's sneaking in! There we are. <laughs> oh god, yeah, because I gotta do the... I, I have so little wiggle room for the colors on this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and then I guess we'll just actually leave the shirt white, or we'll shift it to a yellowy tone? Um, oh goodness, this is, this is a tricky color palette. <laughs> if I'm not, like, copying it exactly, which I'm not, because I'm like, no, I need to be able to put highlights on it. <laughs> Let's go like this. No, I want to get the G-Pen out. Alright, 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 alright. 
have get this in here. There we are. Sweet. Wait, I colored that the wrong. Go like this. I was just gonna go like this. Keep coloring. I was like, oh no, I just drew a random number of lines on this. <laughs> Alright, well, there's that. And then I need to color this, this color. There we are. <laughs> Make it sparkly like try? Yeah. We might have to do that with the shading. Wait, that's the wrong spot. Um, okay. And then I just need to get the tones at the tips of the fingers. <laughs> okay, those are like at the base right here. And then we'll just go like that. Boom. Boom, perfectly planned. Definitely, definitely planned that out. I didn't. I was just like, uh, that's what color these are. <laughs> Look at this little raccoon baby. This little itty bitty raccoon baby. Go like that. And then we'll go like that. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. And it's it's time to get the colors in. Put that stripe there, that stripe there. Um that'll be that color. We'll get our darker stripes now. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Get that up there, this here. And yeah! I need to figure out how, what color I'm making the shirt. Um, I think we'll shift it to a yellowy tone, because then I can also use that for the eyes, maybe? It's too yellowy. God, navigating color palettes is so tricky. There we go, there's that. Yeah, I think we're gonna go with that color for the shirt as well. There we go, that's pretty nice. Turn area scaling down, because it's clearly breaking things. Wait, no, I want it set to one because it was going outside the lines of that drawing. Curses. I'm gonna have to color this gray so I can see all the spots that I didn't color. Or I could just not and hope that it's fine. <laughs> Which I might, because I want to finish this up before- I want to at least get Sigdom's um, attack sketched, because holy crap, that, that one's gonna be a really ambitious one. <laughs> Wait, is this actually? Oh, that's actually a little purple color. Let me let me fill that the right color, and we'll make this uh, a, little, a little a little darker. There we go. That's pretty good. And now let us get bread colors. Let us make this bread a luxurious golden color. Uh, not enough difference. Slide this over. Yeah, that's good bread colors. There we go. I know I should go in and fine tune the flat colors more, but no one's going to look at it this close. Um, and then we can use this color again over here for that. Yay! Okay. Now let me select the skin tone. Let's see how our tolerance is doing if it's also selecting the shirt. It's not! Yay! Wait, no, it's selecting the edges around the shirt. Alright, down to five pixels. Area scaling, down to just two. 
Not gonna lie, when Pluto said, give that boy some bread, I genuinely thought you were talking about booty. <laughs> Keiko? Keiko? What's wrong with you? No. No, the... The character sheet just... Just says he actually likes bread. <laughs> I am going to look at it that close, hee hee hee. Oh no! Oh no. Well, I mean, you'll know because you're looking at it that close with me on stream. <laughs> you'll know all my dirty little secrets. Set this to multiply. Yes! Oh! My... Where did my shading for the... Delete the layer mask. Where did... My shading for the other eye just vanished! What the heck? Where did it go? I didn't hear that because it sounded like it, it sounded like it was super low earlier. Oh... Yeah, my apologies. I fiddled with the music volume because I realized you can't hear the music at all when I talk, which I guess that's good, but I still want it to be, like, in the background properly. So, yeah. And also, I guess I should make sure I talk loud enough for my mic to pick up. I thought we had it there, but we don't. I'm a fool. Alright, I guess we're gonna have to paint. Then we're gonna have to get the selection pen out. Erase selection. Remove from here. Remove this from here. There we are. Remove that from the shirt. Do not do any selecting of the shirt. I do not want to. Selection pen. Put this in here. Put this in here. That. Pen. There we go. That's pretty good. Now we're gonna clip that to there. There we go. Much better. Much, much better. Nah, it's because I lowered my volume because I was with kiddo. Ah, ah, okay. Nothing I did. Cool. Cool. I'm always... <laughs> it's one of those things where I'm like, I want to fiddle with stream settings and make things better as much as I can. Um... But then most of the time I don't have someone I can yell at to be like, Hey, hey, go look at my test channel and tell me how this sounds, like, right exactly at this moment. Alright, we got our flat colors in. Let's get our minimal gosh darn shading going. Select our line art layers. And give me the selection pen so I can paint things back in. Wait, wait, I forgot. I forgot a thing. I forgot the beads! The little, the little ear, the little, little hair beads, not ear beads. What in the world? Also, that just didn't get colored right there, so let me just do that really quick. There we go! Okay. Now let's get our flats going. Get our shading. Cool, cool. Selection pen. Uh paint things in just so that they get shaded. Uh, that's good. There's no gaps there. There's no weird gaps over here. And now it's shading layer time. Set this through. Clip. Alrighty. And then we just do a little bit of a uh, little bit of minimal shading. I cannot wait till I have this all finished up and I can show y'all what I'm doing for Sigdom's attack. Uh, I am so excited about it. Uh, I'm gonna do a big old dramatic poster type thing. It'll be real fun. Here's this. Uh, why are we not? There we go. Now we're getting a line over there. I don't think I know how to do actual minimal shading. Now that I think about it, I'm like, how do I, how do I do minimal shading? Do I only shade a couple spots? And now I'm just like, hmm, hmm, how do I do that? 
This might end up being like full shading, but it's light. <laughs> oh wait, minimal shading would just be having one tone of shading. That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> And then we'll pop back over here. Pop back over here. Yeah. Yeah. There we are. This. And shape here and here. This right over here. There we are. Give it a little bit of shadow here. I don't think I know the definition of minimal shading very well. I really don't. I'm just kind of trying to like go and not too th not think too hard about my shading. Maybe that's minimal shading. <laughs> I don't know. I don't understand it. I only know how to go real hard when I'm doing art. <laughs> You can literally just shade the eyes and it would be minimal. Oh. That's. Oh. Well. Well. Oh well. I'm doing more work than I need to. As per usual. <laughs> oh. That didn't make it into the. Oh no. Let me just go like that. There we go. Yep. Definitely actually properly colored that spot. This just doesn't look good without shading right there, so I'm just gonna go like this. And we'll go like that. And like this. I guess minimal shading, I'm just gonna do form shadows and not really worry about cast shadows other than underneath the neck. Shading may appear in one or two places, but it's not visible throughout the entire piece. One layer of gradient also counts as minimal shading. Oh. I guess this would be full shading then, huh? <laughs> this is like minimal for me, I guess. <laughs> That's because I polish things too much. I have a problem. <laughs> also, holy crap, we have literal elevator music going. <laughs> let me, let me fix that. <laughs> no more elevator music. No, I was just listening to Nintendo music to play on stream. Ooh, ooh, we're getting synthwave now. Oh, okay, the synthwave is going really hard. That's fine. I'm up for it. There we go. That tail is gonna be there. Yeah, normally I do so much more detail of shading, but I just... I want to start on Sigdom's attack, but I also want to make sure I get a revenge done for this person. So, I'm sorry, internet stranger. I have Eldritch Horrors and Hot Buff Tieflings that I need to draw. Uh, I, want, I want that little bit right there. Yeah, there we are. Uh, then we'll run my little duplicate layer. I don't need that. Uh, I don't know what layer I hid this in. What layer did I hide this in? Get my little my little blur going. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna turn my flats back on. No, I still gotta do highlights. New layer, overlay, and then we'll do my little highlights. There we are. Yeah. Yeah. Little highlights. And then I'm just gonna put some nice little, nice little scribbles in here for the highlights. <laughs> No elevator music yet. Yeah. Now we've uh, yoked this out of existence. Yeah, synthwave. Yeah. I actually, I was thinking this morning, um, so I realized that we have an NPC in our in Bleak Dawn called Roic Silverhand. 
And then I realized, wait, wait, Johnny Silverhand in Cyberpunk. And I was like, oh, yo, yo, give me, give me a Cyberpunk AU of Bleak Dawn. And I was like, yes. And I presented my case to the party. Uh, I haven't, I haven't checked in on what their uh, response is. And I was like, okay, Cyberpunk AU of Bleak Dawn. And Roic Silverhand has similar aesthetics to Johnny Silverhand. One, both of them have their last name Silverhand. Both have a silver hand. Both are cool as heck, and both are technically dead. <laughs> Which is weird that it happened twice. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we get that going, and that's too bright. <laughs> then we'll get it. Oh, we'll use this as my blurry layer for my soft overlay. No, we're just gonna make a new overlay layer. <laughs> Alright, yep, there we go. Uh, flat color, turn that on. And let's get a color dodge layer, new layer. Color dodge! Every day I drink my silly little wa water and draw my silly little highlights. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed, I do. <laughs> Sorry if my chatting is my chat is suddenly lagging a whole bunch. I actually found um I have a video speed controller for my stuff, but when I load up uh Keiko's streams and if I notice that I'm lagging behind in chat, I'll actually crank up the video speed slightly to get my playback back to where it was. And that actually tends to help quite a bit in terms of, like, catching up, I guess. And we're just gonna put that gradient on that side of the body. There we go. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. And then we gotta do a flipping layer. Can I... Can I do that? Sweet, I can. Okay, I wasn't sure if it was gonna be nice to me. Wait. I need to open the reference back up. Give me my reference, collapse that layer, get this back in. So I had some spots that I needed to color. Specifically, I needed to color this. <laughs> Don't zoom in there. Zoom in over here. There we are. We got that colored now. Now we put these all in a little folder. Let me copy this, paste it. Merge it. Merge the layer. I keep hitting Control E to merge, and it doesn't. Cyberpunk is so hella cool. I know, I know. I freaking... I love all of the Cyberpunk stuff. I don't like Cyberpunk 2077, because they turned out... They were like, oh, we're an RPG. And then they were like, mm, no, it's actually just another third-person action game, and your choices don't really matter that much. Like... CD Projekt Red, you can't do that to people. <laughs> and then also it being buggy as heck. But Keanu Reeves is cool. Oh! Oh, you've resumed posture check! <laughs> there we go. Eh. Let's get that. Let's get that posture check going. Eh. Thank you, Pluto. I very much was slouching. <laughs> I very, very much was slouching. Let me mark that as complete. There we are. Don't forget, y'all can uh, contribute to uh, Polnareff hair as well. I know Keiko might not, because Keiko's just like, Ew. Polnareff hair. <laughs> Whoa, how did I zoom out to be able to see the whole layer? Oh, that uncollapses all my stuff. That's weird. <laughs> there we are. We'll make it big sparkly! Extra sparkly eyes. Do I add tears as well? No, I'm just gonna put little sparkles over here. <laughs> oh, it's such a cutie! I booted up Photoshop so I could do, like, final touches, so I think that's what I'm gonna do. Turn my paper layer off. We're gonna save this. I haven't saved my file this whole time. Oops. 
Art Fight 2021. Uh, there we go. Uh, the name of this OC is Kai, and it's Sundraws. For Sundraws. There we go. File. Export single layer. PSD, because I don't feel like it. Single layer. PSD. That way I only need to export the different files from Photoshop. Yep, that's good. <laughs> now let's hop into Photoshop. I don't need my layers, so I'm just yeet that out of existence. I want to actually check and see, because I see I have pings in the Bleak Dawn campaign. What does the party think of Cyberpunk? Well, back to watching over kids, so audio is so low, so I can't really hear anything anymore. That's okay, Keiko. You take care of your kiddo. <laughs> oh, this is fantastic. Uh, pardon me, I'm going I'm going to swear so I can quote my friend slash cyberpunk2077. But, uh, Char was like, wake the fuck up, party. We have a sun to ignite. Oh, that's so good. Oh, that's so, so good. So I was just like, guys... Let me gimme. There we go. <laughs> Cause I sent them a little gif of Keanu Reeves in Cyberpunk. <laughs> Alright, let's copy this layer. Uh actually let's see if I need a levels adjustment. Run an auto level, see what happens. Uh okay, that was pretty good. Thanks, auto levels. New layer. Gradient map. Um, let's see. If there's any? Yeah, I like this. I like the shade of red and purple. Let's go. That's nice. That gets colors pretty nicely. Overlay, soft light. I don't think I like those color changes. Yeah, I don't like that color change. Delete that. I don't want it. It's gross. Alright, now let's grab these. This is much more tricky without a mouse plugged in so I can charge my stylus. Control shift B, merge, and then uh, control C, control shift B, filter, other, high pass, high pass filter time, baby. Um, there we go. That's probably a little bit wide on that. Set it to overlay. Boom! We got our crispy sharp colors. <laughs> merge these together. Control C, Control Shift V. Merge. Turn that layer off. And then filter. Noise. Add noise. Just a little itty bitty bit. Maybe a teensy bit. There we go. And now we run the signature action. There we go. I can't be bothered to sign my artwork. I just have an action for it in Photoshop. <laughs> oh, that's not what I wanted. Uh, let's just put this over here. Yeah, that's pretty good. Save it, file, export, export as. Alrighty then. <laughs> Thirty three. There we go. Sweet. All right, that's exporting. So while we're doing that, I am going to head over. Oh, that exported much faster than I thought it would. Slash. Sigdom. And now it's time for me to do... I know this is friendly fire, but I really want to do an art fight attack for Sigdom because I friggin' love Sigdom's art. It's so good. I've talked about it. I have to. I have to. And I've messaged Sigdom about, like, lore stuff with the characters. Um... Second attack done! Awesome! Awesome! Get your attacks done, Pluto! Heck yeah. 
So there is this hot buff tiefling that I'm going to draw. Um, change their clothes or simplify their outfits. It's okay with gore. Throw a box of blood on them. Okay. So let's save this image. I am going... This is going to be way too complicated. Older, uh, um, Sigdom attack. So this goes in here. This is Mithene. I think that's, uh, there we go. Mithene. There we go. I know how to spell, uh, Sigdom's characters. So one, I love Mithene. He's really cool. He's a cool buff tiefling. Um, I think this is him when he's slightly older. Also, here's like his undead form. I'm not doing this one because I am doing the undead form of her. Oh my god, I love her. Also, yes, Sigdom changed the colors. I messaged Sigdom like, hey, can I have lore? And also, you made the profile like bright yellow and it's so hard to read in light mode. Um... So let me save this image and gimme Solara with. Oh god, this is gonna be this is gonna be way too dummy ambitious. Why am I doing this to myself? You gotta draw humanoids now? No? Oh no! Oh no. This is why I have at least one anthro. Um and I think my permissions are like, yeah, whatever, you can draw my uh, humanoid characters as anthros. Or I might have I might have actually removed that line, I'm not really sure. <laughs> Do I need my stylus to be charging right now? No, I don't. Sweet. Alright, so let me pop back over the drawing tool. And then let's get our references open. Although, yeah, if you don't, if their character permissions say you can draw, like, a feral version of a character. You, uh, you could always do that. <laughs> so, okay. Let's go. It's time to draw these cool boys. Oh, yes. Or this cool boy and this cool lass. I love, I love them so much. God, they're so cool. <laughs> Alright, let's get Let's get my thumbnail going. Let's draw real small for my thumbnail. <laughs> furry Daisy Son! Oh my god, I can draw furry Luth and Daisy Son! Yes! I didn't I don't remember if it's in my permissions uh this year. Double check. I might have taken it out. Um But yeah. Um uh, zoom right out. She's gonna be looming over. So hopefully I don't have to draw the whole thing. Nah, I just don't like doodling simple shaped characters. Yeah, I don't I don't like simple shaped characters that much. He's got that in his right hand. So I need to make sure I set up my pose in favor of the right hand. <laughs> to also make sure I push the perspective even further. <laughs> Once I've set up the initial thumbnail. <laughs> Alright. There we go. This lady needs to be much bigger. <laughs> Give me that lasso tool. She got to be geek. It also means that it, the bigger I make her, the less of her I have to draw. <laughs> Let's have her carry one of her little ball things up here. And carrying another little ball thing up here. And then we're gonna have spooky grabby hands here. Grabby hands. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. God, I'm way. <laughs> I am 
going to hurt my soul with this attack. <laughs> Why am I doing this to myself? <laughs> She's got these cool horns. And she got all these cool line things up here. Alright. <laughs> there is my incredibly messy thumbnail. <laughs> I'm gonna put uh, this little companion right here. Yes! <laughs> Yes! Oh my goodness. Good luck, thank you. <laughs> I'm just doing, like, basically... This is basically a scene, although it's not very background-oriented, thankfully. Oh god, I'm gonna have to figure out how to draw those horns from the back. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, we've got, oh my goodness, we've got this in place. <laughs> Let me save my file now. Whew, we're committing. We're doing a real big attack. We're just gonna call it Sigdom Yeech. That's a good file name. Uh, thankfully, I have a fun little trick up my sleeve for doing multi-armed characters that I learned when I made a uh, lady a uh, drawing of Lady Irma from Jade Omen. So I will be getting into easy pose. Boot up easy pose. And then go like this. And basically if I keep the camera in the exact same spot and I just change the arm poses. I should be okay. Let's move this over to here. I can actually plug my mouse back in, which would be insanely helpful to do this. <laughs> add, add model. Uh, let's just do superhero female. Let's see what presets we got that are pretty close to our thumbnail. Maybe slide this over here. <laughs> uh, do we have anything in here? Mm, I mean, that's leaning forward enough. That is, that is actually leaning forward enough. Uh, so let's reset our neck pose. Reset our head pose. Face, look, look down. And the rest of the arms, or the rest of the legs, don't really matter, thankfully. <laughs> go like this, we'll hit symmetry. And then we'll go like this, I'll hit symmetry. And now it's time. This is the sort of thing that I'm just absolutely not doing without a, um without a pose reference. I'm like, nope, not happening without it. <laughs> I don't like that one. Oh, no, as I hit symmetry and put it on both of them. Let's go for a more clawed hand. That'd be fun. Yeah. Yeah. Reach that forward more. Uh, bring this over here. Here just a little bit so I could then bring it down and out more. No, I really did have it in a good spot before. Curses! <laughs> symmetry on that, and then we'll just symmetry this up so that it's reasonably close. Uh, slide this out a little bit. Slide this down a little bit here and let's get our hand rotated just enough oh no oh no let me pan please may i pan i keep trying to hit the controls to pan and it's not what i want 
This is, that's pretty good. Eat that, put these here. Um, let's angle the head up just a little bit more so it's not too much of a pain. Uh, are there horns on this head that I can put on here? Let's take a peek. Head drop, hat. Oh, sweet! There are horns that work for Mythene on here. There's not horns that work for her, though, but thankfully she's from the front view, so that actually shouldn't be too bad. Take a screenshot here, and then we're just... Do not change the camera angle whatsoever. <laughs> no camera angle changes. And then we'll just hit Symmetry, <laughs> hand pose, go like, which one's a pretty good, like, oh, I'm gonna do some magic. That one's pretty good. I can always fine tune the pose. <laughs> um, go like this, and then I think we'll just go like that, yeah. Uh, we need our finger editor. Finger editor, thumb. I need the thumb to be more like over there. Cool. Cool, close that. Pull the hand up more. Sorry, I'm very focused on this pose. <laughs> I want this pose to be so freaking cool. <laughs> Get this angled here. This angled here. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Can I can I do it from here? Yes. Yes, okay. Thank goodness. And now we go like this. Take that screenshot. Okay, we have her poses set up. You seen. Okay. Add model, add model. I need to drink some tea, because I'm talking through my thoughts real fast. I thought I could at least get this sketched, but I don't think that's going to be happening. Uh, is this how I zoom out? How do I... Let me zoom in the Okay. There we go. Holding control. Let's me zoom. <laughs> then presets. Hero, I think our fantasy pose should actually have exactly what I want. I'm not gonna hit include props, because that way I can just put the right one in his hand. Um, there we go. That's exactly what I want. That is exactly what I want. Yes. Uh, let's push this pose just a little bit further. Because I'm an animator and I freaking require it. Oh man, I might. Oh, Kiko! Vote for the next contest to be Daisy Sun. Draw Daisy Sun in as many different anthro species as possible. Ooh. Ooh. That might be really fun. I gotta, I definitely gotta drop that in the question suggestions channel so that I can make sure I add it to my list. I'll actually write it down now. Give me my sticky note. Do I have a pen over here? Yes. I actually, I wanted to do, I was thinking for Halloween to do a costume contest for Daisy san <laughs> Daisy san I didn't even see that. Did I, did I pronounce it wrong? I'm hurt. I'm so bad at words. Um, Daisy San has anthro species. Do do do. <laughs> ah, thank you so much for dropping that in the questions and suggestions channel, Pluto. Thank you. <laughs> 
food cooking channel is a good idea. I might, I might add that so people can talk about that. <laughs> I might give us a category for like certain interests, but also I don't, I don't want to like separate chats too much. Daisy San as Anthros. That would make a really fun contest. I think maybe for over the winter or during the spring that would be fun. But yeah, I wanted to run basically a costume contest for Halloween where I would like make a base of Daisy San and be like, all right, give me your Halloween designs. And then the winner, I would just actually make it as uh, the model and do like a Halloween stream with it. <laughs> and that's one of those things where like the feasibility of making it in v will be a factor in choosing. Yeah, winners for it. Alright, props, fantasy. I think this has a round thing. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty close. <laughs> Can I adjust the scale of it? Oh, that's not what I wanted. Move forward. Nope. 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 That's not moving it where I want it to be at all. I'm gonna have to just put that over here because this is a really long staff and I'll just ad-lib the rest of it based off the perspective. <laughs> that was too far. Too far over, I think. Oh, that would be going into his leg. We can't have that. We cannot be having that one. <laughs> There we go. I think this is about where we were thinking to put this. Go like this with the pose, so I don't have my legs exactly the same. And I need to give him a head prop. Hat. Boom. No more stressing about how to draw these arms and these horns in perspective properly. <laughs> The underwear and now we take a screenshot of that okay sweet those blue stacks and then we have wait wait i needed to get my poses out of blue stacks <laughs> i'm a fool <laughs> so i need this to boot back up so i can put it in here yes costume contest is also cute yay Okay, and that's one of those things where I'm probably just gonna straight up tell people, Hey, hey, I have a bias towards vampires and like this is the stuff that I like, so if you make it work, and also it seems very feasible, send to windows, uh, art fight, sigdom, put that there, send to windows, uh, art fight, sigdom, put that there, and then get this, send to windows, art fight, sigdom, put that there. Okay, now I have all of these done. Uh, file location, now we get to get real ambitious. Put that there, put this here so that hopefully Yes! Yes! Okay, I'm gonna have to adjust those arms because I forgot to slide the arms down into the right spot. But I do like where the hands are, so I might be able to just add lift the arms together. <laughs> uh, we'll put this under the sketch layer, reduce the opacity of it. And let's get this lady in the right gosh dang spot. I'm just like, I'm not, I'm not going to hurt my soul. <laughs> okay, that is far more correct. And I might, I'm probably just going to add lib a little bit of it. Send to Windows counter! Yeah, I actually... I admittedly disabled the counter because it's been buggy, so that's something that I want to revisit in the future. 
Be like, how do I make it work? And we put him up here. Wow, did I just automatically put him in the right spot? <laughs> okay. That is most of this. I want to pop into this folder. I know I've got like five minutes left on stream, but I really want to get this like where where I want it properly. <laughs> is just where I would like. Edit. Transform. Why can't I transform? Why? Why can't I? What's going on here? Do I need to rasterize? I probably need to rasterize the layers. Fine. Fine. We'll rasterize the layers. <laughs> this over here. Edit. Transform. What? Oh, that's the wrong layer. Edit. Transform. Just free transform. And then I want this to be down here. And then I want this. No, this is all on the same layer. Shoot. This would be much easier with Puppet Warp in Photoshop. All right, we're not gonna worry about that. Let's just turn the opacity up here and I'll just fiddle with all that later. <laughs> all right, we have our thumbnail sketch. Uh, I'm gonna just reduce the opacity of my thumbnail or I'm just gonna shrink my thumbnail put it up here so I know where, what we're going for and then 3d models go in here I am going to hurt myself with this sketch it's gonna be dummy complicated but this is okay god I have like literally one minute left in stream and I want to start this so badly Oh, I want to start it so, so badly. Let's go like this. Let's go like this. God, I love these characters. Oh, she's got this big old pretty crown thing, too. Look at this. So good. Look at this character design. I should be using the symmetry tool when I clean this up. Oh, thank God I made her mostly symmetrical, actually. <laughs> She's a symmetrical design. <gasps> oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm so happy she has a symmetrical design. <laughs> that is going to make my life so much better. <laughs> Just do a big old swirly over here. <clears throat> okay. This 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 attack is going to hurt my soul. <laughs> Hopefully I get it done soon enough. <laughs> and then I just don't get any more art fight attacks done for the rest of things. Oh my goodness, I need to save this and close it. I have stuff to do before street, before work. Oh my goodness. Anyway. Thank you so much to everybody for joining me on this stream. Yay! I'm so glad you believe in me. Let's wrap things up. So, thanks so much for hanging out, everybody. Thank you so much to my patrons as well who support me on Patreon. It, it, makes, it makes things much easier to get things done and, like, you know, cover the bills. <laughs> anyway... I'm going to take a peek and see if there's anyone that we can raid. Um, y'all wanna y'all wanna raid Fairy Sammy? Do we want to raid Fairy Sammy? It looks like they're working on more art fight stuff. <laughs> I'm going to go like this. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you.
I hope you do as well. I'm gonna try to get some chores done before I have to go to work day. Oh, they're working on a non-viny bunny. All right, we have to raid them. I'm gonna hit start raid. So y'all get ready. I will see y'all later. If you wanna chat more, then come hang out in the Discord and I'll be back on Wednesday at 2 p.m. You're gonna go swim? Yes, have fun swimming. Alrighty, y'all are all ready to raid. I'm gonna hit raid now. Wait, wait, wait. No, I'm gonna give y'all text to type. <laughs> um, we're gonna. Yes, <laughs> let's let's do sparkles. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna give y'all stuff. So when we get in there, uh, go ahead and yell Daisy raid in chat. And yeah, are y'all ready? Y'all ready to go? <laughs> Alrighty, raid now.